Good morning, folks. Today we're looking at an astrophysical space mystery, Noah's version of the solar storm comparison I did for you a few days ago, and an absolutely incredible paper on state of mind and Earth's magnetic field. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where we took several M-class solar flares this morning, and the big plasma filament incoming on the south released. A few of the central destabilizations may have made very slight solar wind enhancements in Earth's direction, but they will be minor. Taking a closer look, biggest flaring occurs on the right near the limb, bottom left the big filament tears away and does so southward, and two minor filament pops near center disk occurred as well. None of them put anything significant towards our planet. So let's go to the first article where once again the explanation is black hole science but all they have observational evidence for is the sudden vanishing of stars in the night sky. They have found examples of stars that don't go nova, they just go dark and seem to disappear. Now while they say they have just randomly collapsed into black holes, this is where Dr. Robitaille's emissivity arguments come into play. What if they just clicked off? Up next, folks, here is Noah's version of the recent solar storm comparison. Things to reconcile are as we said they were. The May 2024 event was so much weaker in terms of what our star blasted out shouldn't have come close to any of these historic storms. And for the ones that had much higher disturbance storm index, they should have produced much more aurora than this month's event, and yet they did not. Whether it's the level of disruption or the visual auroral display, this month's storm was only as spectacular as it was because our magnetic field is weakening. Clear sign of the magnetic pole shift. Last but not least, what an interesting bit of science here. Not only do we get a nod to the critical nature of the magnetic field of our planet, starting with the embryo development, but our personal emotions impact the magnetic field around us. Positive ones amplify the local field. Negative ones decrease it. This has implications for society and our planet as a whole, and for your own demeanor during these disaster cycle events unfolding now and which will amplify in the years ahead. Deserves a special video, doesn't it? We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.